What's going on everyone? Welcome to this video. So honestly, I wasn't planning on doing a video today. I just didn't have time. And then I was napping and while I was napping, all of a sudden, just BAM! We got it. We got the trailer for Scooby-Doo, the sword and the scoob. It is here. It just dropped like a half hour ago. Oh my goodness. I'm so, so excited for this one. So. Right off the bat, I have, again, haven't seen the trailer, but I've seen a few uh, pictures that people have posted. Right off the bat, it, the animation style is giving me freaking creepy animation style. Just where the colors look a little washed out almost is kind of what it makes me think. Um, which, I don't know, I really, really liked the animation of Curse of the 13th Ghost and Return to Zombie Island. I was like really hoping we were going to stick with that animation style for a bit, but they kind of keep going back and forth, uh, tweaking the animation here and there a little bit. Like, it's not drastic, but anyway, that's not why we're here. Scooby-Doo, the sword and the scoob. Um, I had... Give me two seconds. <laughs> a few moments later. Okay, so here is the official synopsis for the film, the English version, not translated. So it says... The Scooby-Doo franchise enters Mark Twain territory with The Sword and the Scoob, a brand new and medieval mystery ink adventure that brings a rare time travel element into the series. Is it really time travel though? That's what I'm worried about. The film is very much a homage to a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court, because originally it was going to be called King Arthur's Court, Scooby-Doo in King Arthur's Court, so that makes sense. Sci-fi sci-fi wire they are the ones posting this trailer is pleased to exclusively present the first trailer for the original film which arrives from warner brothers home entertainment early next year when scooby shaggy daphne velma and fred travel to jolly old england they come face to face with the evil sorceress known as morgan le fay who using magic of stone stone age stonehenge transports them back to the age chivalrous knights what? Spellcasting wizards and fire-breathing dragons. There they meet King Arthur of Camelot, whose appetite is as legendary as a sword. When Shaggy is suddenly kidnapped by Morgan, Arthur inducts Scooby, Fred, Daphne, and Velma into the Knights of the Round Table, relying on them to stop the witch and save his throne. Check out the trailer, which contains a pup named Scooby-Doo Easter egg below. Okay, okay. This sounds incredible. I am so excited for this one. Like... Ooh. I'm so excited for this one. It'll be really, really interesting having Shaggy be the kidnapped one. That's, I think, what really, uh, from this synopsis, got me really excited because I feel like we haven't really had a story where they have to save Shaggy, at least not for a bit, you know? It's always been like, oh, Shaggy and Scooby kind of go their own way, the rest of the game go their own way, you know, but then they come together in the end, or, of course... Um, Daphne gets kidnapped or something, but I don't think it's ever been a story of them trying to save Shaggy, so I'm really excited to see how this plays out. Um, I did see that there was like a, a little Easter egg of a pup named Scooby-Doo. I don't know what it is yet uh, in the trailer, so let's see how this all connects. Um, maybe they accidentally go back to when they were kids. I don't know. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. So let me get my earphones. We're going to watch this Scooby-Doo. The sword and the scoob, wrong ears. Okay, are we ready? Because we're going. It's 2 minutes and 16 seconds. Here we go. I'm ready. Sci-fi. Wire. Exclusive. Uh -uh. Looks like they were in an airport. <laughs> Ooh, the homages, homages, that it never is to solve a medieval mystery. <laughs> they must turn back the clocks. Whoa. Hey, Mr. Ink. Oh my gosh. Mm. <laughs> okay, this music though. 
better be in the movie. He used the sword. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh yes, the carriage. Get ready. For the ultimate knight's table. Tail. Tail. Table. Oh, there's a dragon. There's a dragon. Okay. <laughs> yes. The Sword and the Scoob, original movie. <laughs> I love that Arthur is like with them, you know, just Koovy with them. Hold up, y'all, did you see that art? I have tears in my eyes. This trailer was amazing. Okay, but y'all, look at that freaking DVD art. Ever since Return to Zombie Island, they have upped their DVD cover art game. Like, the DVD cover arts from Return to Zombie Island, Happy Halloween, Scooby-Doo, and now this look like feature film posters am i the only one i can't be like just look at it it is amazing now it is a little sad they're taking out fred daphne and velma of the covers lately but look at that dvd car mm, it looks so good i love that's like a purple too that i don't know what i was expecting but like okay let's talk about this scooby-doo the sword and the scoob i almost called it in king arthur's court Oh my goodness. First of all, first of all, can we take a minute to appreciate the production of that trailer? Just like, is so much higher than it has been in the past. Like, I mean, I wouldn't, uh, I don't know. It just, these trailers, this, this trailer at least, really felt like it could have been a trailer for a Scooby movie going to theaters. Am I the only one that thought that? Like, they upped their game with this freaking trailer alone. Um, so there's that. Second of all, um, I I don't love, love, love this style of animation. Again, it reminds me of uh, Frank and Creepy. I just feel like, again, the colors are kind of washed out. I don't know, but getting into the movie, it, it fits it. It definitely fits it. Like... It, when it moves, it looks fluid. Everything looks fine. Um, I do just wish it would be more of the Curse of the 13th Ghost and Return to Zombie Island animation. Um, you know, they're super, super close. It's hard to tell. Um, but really great animation here. Um, my other thing... Um, Y'all are gonna ignore this. Um, when they're time traveling, I... So worried they're not actually going to try and time travel. I would love it if they did. I really would. But um, when they're time traveling, you see not only a thing of a pup named Scooby Doo, there's also a thing of. Um, oh, well, there's. Okay, there's. So there's a pup named Scooby Doo, there's Mystery Incorporated, and there's the Beach Beastie. Um, if you guys look closely enough. Wow, just wow. <gasps> now the villain is voiced by Greg Griffin, who does Daphne. You can hear it in her voice. Um, I don't know if you guys picked up on that. Um, I, I wonder who's doing King Arthur. Who, who's doing Arthur? I, again, love that Arthur is as goofy and playful and hungry as Shaggy and Scooby. Um, and it looks like Arthur was taken to like the, the dragon's lair, almost, at least just according to the trailer. Um, but yeah, guys, oh my gosh, I am so excited for this movie. No, no release date, no specific release date, just says look for it on digital and DVD, and it says it's coming in early 2021, um, according to the French, to the France, 
Amazon listing. It says in February, so uh, it said like February 24th. So we can guess sometime in February. That's kind of when I'm planning on it coming out. Um, so obviously as soon as we know a release date, I'll let you guys know. If we happen to get some clips as we get closer to the movie, obviously I will react to those and do reaction videos to those and upload those. Um, but I want to know what you guys think of this. Scooby-Doo, The Sword and the Scoob, original movie. What'd you guys think of the trailer? Let me know down below. I'm so freaking excited for this one. Like, this one looks so, like... Bleh, I'm tripping on my words. This one looks like so much fun. Um, I really, really dig the kind of new uh, take they're going. Like, trying to do something new. Time travel. I feel like we haven't had a proper Scooby-Doo time travel mystery. Um, so I really, really dig this. I'm super excited. Again, I don't think they're actually going to try time travel. I'm sure it'll get debunked um, by the end of the movie. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'm so freaking excited for this one. This trailer was so good. And I can't get over this DVD cover art like... <clears throat> just looks beautiful. Okay, <laughs> I'll stop. <sighs> okay, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, let me know what you think down below. I'm, I'm like, I'm on this adrenaline high from this excitement now. Woo! Okay, <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye. Jingle bell, 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 bell.